Okay, let, let me just tell you one trope I'm, I'm tired of. I really can't. The magical Negro. These poor old black people don't need to be helping anyone. What they need is a retirement plan or like, I don't know, premium health care. This shit goes back to Huckleberry Finn and this still goes on all the damn time. Not to mention they're still giving out Oscars for this shit. So I'm just like, when, when does it end? Seriously. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Williams, haven't seen you around here for a while. Oh, young blood. Um, I've been resting, saving my strength. Mm, you ain't on the bus, cause I don't think this is a bus stop. Um, uh, one will be by sooner or later. What's that? Uh, with this here, it's a letter from Mr. Jansen. Says I have to move out of my room by the end of the week. Now, I don't understand what's going on here. So I gotta talk to him today. Yeah, I moved out last week. Turns out Jansen sold the place. I mean, they're just gonna put up an apartment complex. That's gonna put a lot of people on the street. Mr. Jansen wouldn't do that. Come on, you know why people. They'll just snatch that rug from you. I don't know about that. People just need someone to show them the way. We all need that from time to time. Why do, we, why do they need someone to show them how to be good? Did you know that sheep were the first animals to be domesticated? Yes, sure. Once other animals realized the warmth their fur provided, they were in for some trouble. Now, lucky for them, humans caught on too. We got warmth, and they got domestication. So I guess it all worked out, huh? We needed them, and they needed us. Yeah, no, need is a strong word, but we're here and we're together. Ain't no changing that. So in that story, black people are the sheep? Why would you think that? There's no direct correlation. You see, that's the good and the bad of stories. They're open to interpretation. Now, if I told that story to a million people, I'd get a million answers, questions, opinions, and analysis. I guess that's what makes them so dangerous, huh? Only when we stop listening. Because then the message can't breathe. Look here. I really should get going. Stay in one place too long at my age ain't good for the blood. Yeah. All right, well, you have a good day, Mr. Freeman. Actually, that's not my name. Names aren't really that important either, though. Oh, here's that bus, Mr. Freeman. Good to see you. Hey, Mr. Jansen, it's good to see you, sir. Now, I don't want to waste your time, but I had to call you. You see, I got this eviction notice under the door to my apartment. Yeah, uh, look, Mr. Greer, I sold the building, so everybody got one of those. You're gonna have to move out, and there's nothing I can do about it. That's just how things work. But Jansen, we talked about compassion and doing the right thing. This is gonna hurt a lot of people. Yeah, well, that's why I'm here. I. We need to talk. Okay. Well, come on. Talk. Yeah, well, I've come to some realizations about our time together. All, frankly, of those things you told me were bullshit. Excuse me? I don't want to be your version of a good guy. I want to live. I want excitement. You're lost. Well, we can get you back on the right track. We just have to start over. No. 
I see my friends, they're on the news, and they're fighting Congress and the DEA and the FBI, standing up for their rights as white American men, and here I am being nice. I feel like a fool. You want to be a bad person. I want to be a bad ass. Yeah. That's why I came here, to confront you and let you know I'm better off without you. You know, as, this, as the great Sam Cooke said, a change going to come. A change going to come. Sam Cooke said it. Change gonna come. No, no, no. Hey, excuse me. I'm sorry. Please, don't do this. I'm sorry. There's nothing I, I can, can do. I can help. I have to help. You don't understand. I'm sorry. Okay, so let me let me really like break this down for y'all, right? Okay, there are three types of magical black helper people. First, the magical Negro. Now he's something that comes around just for a short time to help you through like a specific life event, right? And then there's the mammy. Now the mammy, now that's a life sentence, okay? She raises you and she's always available to give you some advice or to bail you out if you need it. And she might have some tea or some snacks as a little bonus. And then there's the token black best friend, the TBBF. Now this one is about a 10 year bid that can be re-upped if needed. Now they might meet in high school or college College, but they hang in some unreal existence where race doesn't really factor until <laughs> until at some point there's a confrontation and then the TBBF is like it's always about you Joey which finally makes the white guy see that life is slightly more complicated than what they thought it's it's important to remember these distinctions What the hell are you doing here? You know the rules. It's over. I'm at the end of the road, sister. Here you go. Yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. You know I told you, right? You pick the wrong people all the time. You take on the hardest cases. That's not the problem. I haven't changed, they have, and no one gave me the notice. So either they got a little smarter or a lot dumber? Mm-hmm. I try to think, when did it all get so crazy? How did we get here? And was it avoidable? And? Nigga, I don't know. I just wonder. I'm wondering out loud. That's one of the rhetorical questions, huh? I know the word. I didn't know you knew the word. <laughs> Start at the beginning. What, you gonna tell my life story? No. I'm just gonna take some notes.
plays. I just moved in. You heard me. Get on the ground now. Yo, I'm not getting on the floor, man. You need to leave right now. Don't move. Hey, I said don't move. Okay, hold up, hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. I I'm, not, I'm not moving, okay? <laughs> Is there anything on you? Stop right there! Let me see your hands! I'm here to help. Everyone stay calm. Breathe. Hold tight. What's happening? What's your name, son? It's Josh. I'm, I'm a cop. This is, this is an accident. This Josh, is an accident. Josh. Look at me. Can you verbally acknowledge? that you need my help. He was acting crazy. He charged at me. Gosh. What was that? Look at me. Yeah, I need help. Help me. Fuck, God. I just killed a man. A black man. This is the defining moment of your life and it will go down one of two ways. Either you become a pariah to society. I lose my job, my wife. Or... You become something greater than yourself. But to do that, you're going to have to tell the truth. The truth that's buried so deep in your soul. You're going to have to give everything you have to dig it out. I'm not that. This is the way, Josh. This is the only way. I have one job on this planet, and that's to help. Let me help you. This wasn't my fault. I told you, he charged at me. He could have been dangerous. Do you think they have your best interests at heart? And soon the media will be here too. You need to realize what you've done and who you are. I need to hear you say it. It's the only way you get out of this with your soul intact. You don't know Now why. is the time, now is the time, now is the time. No, tell me who you are. Damn it, Josh. You don't know who I am! You don't Say know it. me! No! No, I'm not saying that! I'm not that! Now's your time! Save your soul! No. Look at me! Say it! I'm racist. I watched him the whole time. I didn't even think you wouldn't do something wrong. I don't hate black people, I just... I have these thoughts. Josh, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Come on, young man. Come back to me. Young blood, that's it. Gonna be okay. Heard you were with the cop that shot that black kid. Gotta have my brothers questioning themselves now. Shooting a nigger in the crime. It's a rite of passage. This is America. Ooh. Took a sword at me, old man. It's just the way it is. I bet you feel the same way deep down. Don't you? Who'd you kill? Get out of here, old man. I didn't kill anyone. Just fucking with you. <laughs> oh, there's still time. What the hell's your problem, old school? I don't need you messing with my mind, man. They already got a shrink in here. Oh. You probably think I'd do it too, don't you? Well, the truth is, I probably would. I'm just a big, 
steaming piece of shit. There's no hope for me on the world. Outside these walls. I was born a son of a bitch. And I'm gonna die. A son of a bitch. Ah. I've been wondering what I was doing in here. It's all clear to me now. I can help. Hey, old man. Hey. Hey, wake up. Hey, old man, wake up. Help. Help. Go! <laughs> 